What's going on YouTube? Mr. Moss here and today we're going to see what it would be like if Super Mario were in the NFL now. He's about 5'5 in this game, but I think he's even shorter in real life or even not in real life, but in the game. And uh, let's get into the rest of his stats. Quick note, he won't be on the Giants. We're going to switch up his team, but I just liked it in here because he's got the blue and the red on. But he's going to have the blue and the red on once he's in the game as well. Let's look at his padding stats and all that kind of stuff as well. We have a lot of special guests in this game. I'm talking about a ton. But quick shout out to Paul Brock, Rashard Martin, and King V81 for being some of the people that requested that he be in this game as we look at his stats. And again, if you want to request anyone be in the game be sure to like comment subscribe and let me know in the comment section who it's gonna be we're gonna raise this jumping all the way up to 150 right now all the way as high as it can go going back up to his speed and we're gonna raise that of course he's not gonna be a 65 speed but he's gonna probably be around like an 88 speed let's keep raising that up 88 speed is what we're gonna go with for super mario again he's gonna be switching teams not on the giants he's clutch of course and disciplined disciplined excuse me but his foes won't be so disciplined in this game i'm sure so we have the buffalo bills taking on the green bay packers this one is in the Super Bowl. Why? Because winner gets the princess, of course. So we already know some of these guys he's going to be going against. Of course, if you guessed it, he's going against Bowser. That's why we got the green and yellow. And he even got the Koopa Troopers out there trying to get some help for Bowser as well. Kicking off, they got the rock first. Bills against the Packers. Let's get it going. We got Ty Montgomery. Now, why? Moss Q&A is a running back number 88 because he's really i don't want to give things away but let me know in the comment section why you would let a running back be number 88 as you can see him right there in the backfield it's kind of a tricky question anyway aaron Rodgers converting on his passes but not converting on third down therefore we're punting it off and mario's got the ball so super mario right here trying to get loose and can't do so let's see if we could get anything going with this man underneath oh i, I gave him credit right there he got stopped and then completely pushes the guy off last second. Let's look at the team right here. Eric Wood at center, of course, Jordan Mills. But we got Super Mario and his homeboy, Luigi, all the way to the left, of course. Now, on defense, we'll get to that in a second. As we can see, one guy right there, Bowser, huge. He's massive. So we got defensive tackles out here that aren't even as big as Bowser, who's playing Mike Linebacker. Look at this, man. Seriously, King Koopa, Bowser, what's up? 92 why is he number 92 on the Packers I was trying to pay tribute to another guy who was just an absolute beast second Moss Q&A who was 92 for the Packers as we go up top right now to Luigi Luigi's like six foot five he's like six foot five he's going against the Koopa Troopa the Koopa Troopa's like five five. Oh my god how do you not jump over this guy that's a great play right there by the Koopa he's going straight up while Luigi wasn't so we don't get it going on the first drive, and we have to punt. Fourth and nine, we're punting out of bounds. Koopa Trooper not getting to that ball. It was too far out of bounds. Underneath dots, if you're going to play against someone and it's Aaron Rodgers, it doesn't matter if it's the computer or not. He's going to dot you up, and that's what they do right here. He hits Cooks for a big 30, 40-yard gain, something around there, and then Montgomery diving into the end zone. All mad and diving all around. 88 is in the end zone for six. So just like that we're down bowser is up he's winning and again this battle is for the princess we gotta start scoring luigi mario back there set to return number one and number two of course luigi's always gotta be number two i start to feel bad for luigi he's always number two but he does step up big sometimes right here you can see him running onto the field right there after a timeout so mario number one talking to his boy luigi saying let's get this let's get this let's get this championship Dumping off to Mario to the flats. One, two, Bowser on the tackle, can't make it. Three, three right there. Mario with the special music on and everything. Oh my God, breaking tackles like crazy and celebrating, letting the crowd know about it one more time as the star music is going off and everything. And then he's just gonna run guys over. He's a beast, not even Bowser at seven foot, like 500 pounds can't even make the tackle. Dropping back, Tyrod Taylor. Dropping back, great screen right there, great blocking. Mario runs into his guy. Oh, hurdles the Koopa Troopa. He's gone. Let's go. He was almost gone off to the races. He just ran out of gas right there. 
This is a great attempt by Mario after not doing much on the first series. Going right up over the Koopa Troopa, that jumping ability, just like in the game, jumping over these guys. And then almost gone, just ran out of the gas and gets tackled from behind. Look at this, one more time, clearing him, no problem. And then a second tackler couldn't even tackle him as he was still finishing the hurdle. Now, draw, Mario, get outside wide. Bowser, you're not gonna get around Bowser too often. We made him miss last time. We're not gonna make him miss this time. But that's another great draw. Great blocking on the outside. And then Bowser's gonna force him out of bounds. That was great blocking on that draw. It looked like we were gonna go up the middle, bounce it outside real quick. One on one with Bowser, punch him in the face. Punch Bowser in the face every single time we get the opportunity to getting some revenge for all those years. When did Mario even start? Like when was that when was that first game released for Nintendo? Let me know, please, because that brings it way back, the fact that I was playing that game. I love that game. Going on top, that's pass interference. That's pass interference. The Koopa Trooper, pass interference. So we get one more chance. First and goal, we only got one chance. Diving over the top, and are we in? We're, they're saying that we're not in as we get into halftime. Let's look at this one more time. Mario diving over the top, Bowser. Last second getting a chip on his shoulder, literally, like no pun intended. He chipped him in the shoulder and stopped him mid-air from getting in. Great play right there for Bowser. Now Mario's saying, Luigi, I know you're gonna catch it, but give me the ball. You know I'm the star of this show. Give me the rock. And again, I start to feel bad for Luigi a little bit. He never really gets as much shine as he should. I mean, even right now, he's wearing blue uniforms because he's playing with Mario. He's not even in his green. So again, I feel bad for my boy, but we're gonna go up top. We're going up top to Luigi with the Odell Beckham catch right there. Tyrod Taylor, four of five, Odell Beckham animation. And we're going right back to Luigi and we don't catch it. We almost had it right there. Luigi has to step up in this game. I'm feeling for you right now, man. All that time in the shadow, it's your time. Let's go, let's get up there. Let's get some catches. Play action, yes. Going right back to Luigi. Let's do it, Luigi. No, it's Mario this time. Mario again, stealing the spotlight. One on one going over the Koopa Trooper, but then Burnett comes in swatting it away. Look at this. Right up over the top. Morgan Burnett coming in, Koopa Trooper coming in. At the same time, laying the hit on him. Double, and then they swat it away at the very end. So Mario in motion. Quick motion out there. This mountain play is up. Hurdling over. Again, he's only five foot five, so those hurdles are a little bit more difficult. But this play right here, if you can find it, it's in the Raiders playbook. It's in a few playbooks. This mountain, this mountain formation. It is a fantastic play. It's a motion that gets the guy out there. You can pass it out there. If the defense isn't expecting it, you get some great yards. As I do again right there, breaking four tackles nearly, and then he just trips himself up. Watch this again. The Cooper Trooper is never a problem. One right there, just stiff him. But then Bowser, we're gonna break three guys and then just go down at the very last second. That would have been incredible. Hitting it again, one more time. Get in the end zone, no! His momentum took him all the way to the sideline. All the way, Luigi, let's go! Luigi, finally! Luigi number two celebrating in the back of the end zone after a jump ball over a Koopa Trooper. Yes, he has about a good foot and a half over this guy so he should come down with the ball nowhere close and he hangs on to it gets both feet in balance he gets a hip in balance he gets the knee in balance and one knee is just as good as two feet in the nfl so that extra point is up and in the battle for the princess it is now tied seven seven but again koopa trooper getting ready to run this one back he's tiny maybe he could run through some people nobody's gonna see him nope can't do it aaron Rodgers is a problem seriously so if anyone's gonna come out and win this game for a computer it's gonna be aaron Rodgers. he is a beast fourth and two we stop him we get lucky but i know he's not gonna go quietly into this game now number one mario punt return outside wide punt return mario let's go with the spin move right there mario no problem outside wide power run running some people over no yes we do three guys again having to take them down seven rushes 25 yards right there another power run get outside run a guy over oh my god he stiffed two guys at the same time two guys at the same time i've never seen that he push he grabs one by the chest and pushes him into the other guy i've never seen that in madden ever before one guy right there pushes him right into the cooper trooper 
Unbelievable strength by Mario right there on a stiff arm. Tossing outside wide, getting outside, running over another player, then Bowser coming in to take on the tackle right there. Nine rushes, 42 yards. Now we got Tyrod Taylor looking, 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 dumping off. Get him into open space. He's a problem trying to hurdle and he couldn't get over Bowser. Bowser's seven feet tall. And again, he's like 500 pounds in this game. He's probably heavier in the actual video game. So tossed outside right now to Mario. Oh, nice. Oh, another one. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. He uses a truck stick to make a guy miss and over pursue. And then he punches the Koopa Trooper right in the face. Probably the neck, I'm not sure, let's see. So he makes a guy miss with his truck stick. Koopa Trooper's coming out and punches him right in the throat. That should be illegal. Like he hit him right in the throat. Unbelievable, Koopa Trooper's checking to see if he's like bleeding right here. Look at this, he's gonna reach out to his neck like dang. Oh my God, am I bleeding? Second and in inches, toss outside wide. Mario's gonna get in there, no problem, touchdown. Fourth quarter, 130 left in the game in the battle for the princess, and Mario is in the end zone. Unbelievable, gets right outside. Bowser's not gonna catch up. Koopa Trooper got blocked out and sealed, diving into the end zone. One touchdown for Luigi, one touchdown for Mario. Can Bowser and company answer back, especially Aaron Rodgers, because that's who it's gonna come down to. Ty Montgomery, Jordy Nelson, Aaron Rodgers, this Koopa Trooper right here running back to kicks. It's gonna come down to all these guys when there's one minute left in the Super Bowl. So let's see, number 12, number 88, can they spot up? First throw for Aaron Rodgers is a big one. He completes it for 12, 13 yards, two broken tackles right there. And then the second throw is another big one right there. Gonna be for, a, Aaron Rodgers is seven for seven, 89 yards in this game, are you kidding me? Make it eight for eight and more broken tackles. All Madden does not wanna let a person win. 8 for 8, 96 yards. Can Aaron Rodgers do it? Another one. 10 for 10 and another broken tackle. You can't stop the all matter when they don't want to be stopped. 9 for 9, 103 in the game. Let's go. Aaron Rodgers still looking. Wait, we're going to get a sack on him. Finally, getting some pressure to him. Third and goal. Third and goal. Game on the line. Everyone is dropped back into coverage. We only have two guys blitzing Aaron Rodgers. He's waiting patiently in the back of the end zone. Throws it over. He overthrows it. I can't believe that. Finally misses his first throw, and it was a big one because that guy was open in the back of the end zone. This is the final play of the game. Six seconds, five seconds, four, three. Rodgers throws in the back of the end zone. We swat it, and it's intercepted. It's intercepted, break out of the tackle, and that's going to be the game with zero on the clock remaining. Luigi celebrating right there. Crowd is going crazy. Buffalo Bills are the champions. Most importantly, Mario's getting his chick. That's what I'm talking about, celebrating with Darby right there. Dread Squad, of course, if you watch my Mutt games, check out the highlights right here. Luigi going over the top for his boy. Even though he's always number two, he steps up. He's a real friend for Mario. And Mario right here with the star music and everything, just breaking out of tackles, diving into the end zone. Unbelievable, like you couldn't stop this guy for one second. But there you can see him celebrating Tyrod Taylor, Mario, and of course, Luigi holding up that Lombardi trophy. Thank you guys for watching. Mr. Moss signing out. Peace.